what an absolute gorgeous morning it is off for a run this morning it's gonna be a cold run skull cap keep my head warm good run <clears throat> a nice freezing 5k I am steaming, literally steaming. Today is going to be a busy day. Oh. Ah, but I can see now. Today is going to be a busy day. We have got some lost wax casting to do today. Yesterday I injected the rubber moulds for that chain that is this ongoing project that I've been working on for the past three or four weeks. So I finally got those links working. I've got to tap my talc because it just helps the the wax release from the mold without being held on. It's a pretty good cutout actually. You can just see, I'm quite pleased with that. These are getting better. Looks like we've got a good one. Oh yes. And they move as well. That's a pretty, pretty good wax if I do say so myself. There's two links that are gonna be co-joined like that. They're gonna be cast already joined and there's gonna be one link that's open that's gonna be able to join them all together. And I've made, I've worked out I need 29 of those links, units, to make it my 22 inch chain, but I've made about 35 waxes. I've put a whole load together of around about 15 waxes. I've done that, we're gonna cast that this afternoon. But first of all, we have to invest the flask. Do you know what that means? Come along upstairs and I will show you what I mean. First of all, I've got to boil some uh, water. No, 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 not for my coffee because I need some warm water to mix up my investment powder. Let's go. So we're gonna be doing some investing today. This is the flask that we're going to be investing. I've got my powder weighed out. I've also got my water weighed out. And I've got a bit more in a wine glass because I couldn't fit it all in my little measuring jug there. I know how much powder and I know how much liquid has to go in because I've measured the dimensions of my flask and I have a chart that helps me work out how much powder to how much water. Now, I've got to cover this flask with this sleeve, otherwise the investment is going to run out. So that's what we've got and that's what we're going to fill up. But first of all, so we need to put all our liquid in first and I've got nine minutes to do this. So I'm going to time it on my phone. I've got nine minutes from the moment I start to mix it 
to when it has to be completely in the flask. And you may say, Andrew, nine minutes, that's easy. All you gotta do is mix and mix and pour it into your flask. But no, I have to get all the air out of it. And that's where I'm gonna use my investing table that I've got over there. So let's get my clock. And I wanna do a timer and I wanna do nine minutes. Okay, so let's go. Be careful with our powder. I should, in theory, be, as you can see, be wearing a mask because this is silica and it is quite dangerous if you inhale it. I try, obviously, not to inhale it, obviously, So I have to give this about two minutes mixing. And as you can see, that we can't really help but get air into it. It has to be nice, silk, smoothie. The longer you mix it, in theory, the stronger the investment is going to be. Make sure it's all off the sides. Okay, that's been a minute and a half. Let's put that in the vacuum chamber. We're gonna put the bell over the top, like that. And we're gonna turn the machine on. Otherwise the oil gets sucked back up through the pipes and that's no good. Now we pour this into our flask, preferably at an angle like this, so you don't pour directly on top of the waxes that are inside. Now I have to put this back into that investment table just to make sure that all of the air is out of the flask again. to settle. Oh, we've got 20 seconds left. We need to wait about an hour for this to solidify. Then we can take off the rubber off the outside and then take the rubber off the bottom, put it into our investment kiln so all the wax then runs out because that heats up. And that's why it's called the lost wax casting process because the wax becomes lost. There we go. Thank you. 
The beauty of this kiln, it's got a programmable timer and temperature thingy, okay? <laughs> Which means you can program the kiln to go up in temperature over a certain set period of time. You can get the temperature to hold there and so forth. And that's gonna be ideal for our lost wax casting. And that clicking is the solenoid turning the elements of the kiln on and then off when it gets to a certain temperature. And that is how then we will get the wax to come out of the flask. You have the flask upside down, so the wax dribbles out of the bottom into a container, which is the reason why it's called lost wax casting. And then what is left within that flask of investment powder is gonna be space. Those, that space is gonna be the links, and we're gonna use this machine the other half of the machine, that was the investment table. Then we're going to use this half here. That doesn't stay on there. So we're, then we're going to vacuum cast the gold, all 170 grams of gold. That's going to be later on this afternoon. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep an eye on this flask. Now, when it goes in to ensure that it's just burning out nicely. And this is going to be called the burnout cycle. We take this off and we're left with the flask that looks like that and then the rubber comes off the bottom as well and that is now our flask ready for casting. This is the wax bottom part of the trunk of our sprue that's going to go downwards in the kiln so all the wax will then dribble out leaving holes that gets filled up with gold. The temperature now is rising. We're going to put the flask into the kiln. We have a mesh here that then lets the wax dribble out into that little tray we've got. Now close the door and that is going to go up in temperature. It's gonna get in the region of about 100, 150. I can't remember what I've set this to now. And it's gonna leave it there for about an hour, hour and a half, and all the wax is gonna to start to dribble out. Then it's gonna ramp up in temperature even higher than that. And then where any residue of any wax that's left within the mold itself, the investment flask, is gonna be burnt out, it's gonna be vaporized. There's gonna be nothing left within there. But the whole burnout cycle is going to take about six or eight hours. This, funny light, this is a very, very quick, um, gonna be a very, very quick ramp up. Um, and we can do this with a flask this small. Anything bigger than that, well then we'd have to use this kiln that we've got here, this burnout kiln, and then the investment time is a lot, lot longer. But we should be okay with this. So join me now throughout the rest of the day when we look to see how the kiln is doing, and then in about six or eight hours time, we're gonna be doing some casting. It's vacuum casting, so it's not gonna be very exciting because all we need to do is then take the flask out of the kiln put it into the vacuum chamber that we've got there, pour the molten gold into it, and the vacuum then will suck the gold down into the mold itself. If we were using the centrifugal casting method, it would be far more exciting because then we literally have spinning gold going around, I don't know how fast, but very, very fast going around and around. A lot more dangerous, but it's a lot of gold to be playing around with. So the vacuum casting, I think, is gonna be the safest bet for this. So let's see how the day progresses. So the temperature, look at my hair. The, te the temperature is really ramping up now. It's up to 272 degrees centigrade. It needs to get up to around about 600, which means the flask is gonna be red, red hot. But let me just show you what it's like inside now. Pretty boring, isn't it? I'll come back when that temperature is in the region of 600 degrees, and then you can see what that is gonna look like. We're gonna be casting now in about an hour and a half's time. 
and the temperature now is starting to come down. Unfortunately, I missed the hottest temperature it was, but at the moment it's 591 degrees. And soon I'll be able to melt down 180 grams of gold that I've got in here to enable us to cast. Okay, the time has come to start melting down. Melting down, 170 grams, 180 grams, six ounces of gold. It's gonna take me a long time. I've only got a sievert torch, so there's no oxygen. It's just purely propane, but it's gonna take me a while to melt down. <music> bit. I did make a mistake when casting that. I left the bell, that clear container, over the investment side and I should have not had it on there at all. But all the gold went in so it looks like a good cast but this is my favourite bit. We put the flask in a bucket of water. It's still, it's black hot now, there's no colour to the button. Then we're going to plunge it then in cold water. Then that is what we have. That now is looking really good. It's black because of the oxide, but all that is gold. And that is looking really good. We got some bits of investment still stuck in these places by here. But we're just gonna get a bit of a power wash, a jet wash on that. Get all of that off. Then we can put it in acid, cut off all those sprues, and then we're gonna be left with all those links ready to do it all over again.